Hi again. How are you? How are you doing, class? I hope everything is going well with you. Uh, listen, please. This is one of the most important videos ever. Why? In this video, we're going to talk about the basic process of writing. The process of writing. How can we write? What should be done in order to get the best of writing? In this video, we are going to focus on the procedures that all students should follow in order to have a perfect passage or paragraphs. What should be done is to take into account to know five important elements. Those elements are pre-writing. What must be done during pre-writing process? When you know what must be done, you should know the meaning of drafting. After that, revising, then publishing, and publishing is the last process of writing. So all those are important elements. Uh, uh, also are important procedures for a good writing. So, let's start from the beginning, which is the pre-writing activity. Pre-writing activity. Pre-writing, as we said, it's the first step of writing process. It's the first step in writing process. What should be done during pre-writing? You have to follow specific things before you start writing your topic. What are they? First of all, of course, you have to choose your topic. You should know the topic that you are going to write about. Then, you should know to whom you are writing to. Okay? You should know your audience. Who is going to read your passage? Who is going to read your article? That's it. So, it's important to know and to identify your audience. Then, you should know the purpose of your writing. Why you are writing this? There must be a purpose. The goal of this writing. You should know that before start writing. Then, you should gather the supporting details. Without details, there is no any say. There is no topic. There is no passage. There is no paragraphs. So, these are important elements. So, what are the basic pre-writing strategies? Pre-writing strategies. You should write for a limited amount of time on whatever comes to mind. Okay? For a limited amount of time. You should concentrate on the time. Time is important when writing. You should also formalize something called list making. When you, yeah, which means that you have to collect the information and formalize them and make them like a list. Okay? List of ideas. List of expressions. List of questions, maybe, as well. Or, you can bubble a map, called mapping or webbing. Okay? A map. 
suppose that you want to write about uh, a journey to London that maybe uh, took place uh, a month ago. So you have to write everything related this uh, related to this journey. For instance, when, uh, where, and uh, why London. Uh, what did you do? Uh, how the people you met over there, uh, etc. So you just write uh, uh, the bubble map, the bubble map about the journey you did in uh, in London. Okay, then you can also formulate some kind of questions you have about the topic. Then look for answers to them. If you are writing something called an informative essay, this is need uh, something called information. You need information about the research you are talking about or you're writing about. So you need information. You should get some information. And getting information need resources. You need some resources for these information. So also, you need some documents. You should look for documents in order to make your uh, topic or your essay uh, very documented and very strong at the same time. So, the audience are important. The audience means anyone who is going to receive your work. You should take into account the audience the people who are going to read your essay and you should take into account why you need to know your audience why why i have to know uh, why uh, the audience are important why should uh, i tell them uh, the information. What kind of information should I uh, deliver to them? And also, the amount of time will limit the amount of information. So, why do you need uh, to know about your uh, audience? in order to know the amount of information I, I should deliver to them. Also, uh, the audience are important, actually, uh, because the word choice is addressed to them must be specific. The word choice must be specific to them. When you talk to a friend is not like when you talk to your manager. So the word of choice, choice of word is totally different. The kinds of details. The details are also important when, uh, uh, when, when talking about uh, something, uh, when talking about uh, a specific topic or the audience uh, uh, also the people who are going to listen to you or to read your uh, article and you should decide whether your topic must be formal or informal it's formal for uh, people who uh, are like managers uh, like uh, presidents like uh, principles, etc. Informal, it could be for a friend, for an uncle, for a dad, for a mom, for any one of the family members. It's okay. It could be, it could be formal, informal. Uh, that's it. So, uh, determining whether your uh, essay must be formal or informal is important. Okay, then. We said that the purpose of your writing is also important. You should ask yourself the question, why you are writing? What you want, what do you want to accomplish? 
What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to achieve from this writing? Okay, so all these elements are important before thinking uh, to write any topic. Examples of purposes. Uh, the purpose is to make a research paper, maybe, about something, about an information, about an incident, about a phenomenon, maybe. Sometimes people write to entertain, just to entertain. You, you may describe a place, you describe a character, uh, it's, it's called a descriptive essay. Or you may write a story to entertain people, uh, to persuade people about a certain topic or a certain uh, problem, to persuade about to persuade them about something you would like to uh, you would like them to to understand, and you give details. You should persuade them by giving them facts and information. People will never believe in you if you don't give them facts and information. So you should take that into account. Okay? You should explain also. Explain your purpose from writing. Why uh, maybe did you choose this uh, topic to write about? Okay. Why do you need to know your purpose? Your purpose about writing is important. To determine the word choice that you are going to choose. The organization of your paragraphs. The organization of your writing in general is important. And to choose the kinds of details. The kinds of details that you are going to uh, to use then comes the second step which is drafting after collecting information and listing those information and find questions about the topic that you are going to write about uh, and find the answers the information the data about what you uh, intend to write. So all these information, when you gather all these information, you, you start writing. You start writing, so you started with step number two, which is drafting. Drafting is the second step of the writing process. What should you do during drafting? You should turn pre-writing ideas into sentences. You know that in the first step you collected ideas. Now all you have to do is to turn ideas into sentences. Then you have to group sentences into paragraphs. To group those sentences into very good paragraphs. Organize the paragraphs based on purpose. According to the most important one. Start, you have to start from the most important one. Then uh, the least important. Get something that looks like a formal piece of writing. Get something like that looks like a formal piece of writing. So, if you just follow these steps, you're going to have a very good drafting for your topic. Don't forget the main idea of your topic. The main idea is the point of writing support. Okay? The main idea of the topic uh, has something to do with the thesis statement. Thesis statement. What do we mean by thesis statement? It is one sentence that tells you and tells the audience or the readers what the entire essay is going to